Manipur Trinamool Congress President Kim Gandhi and two former Congress MLAs joined BJP. Manipur observes 7th National Voters Day under the theme Empowering Young and Future Voters in Manipur Election Mobile App launch. Election Commission asked political parties and leaders to not use pictures of President, Vice President and State Governors in their election posters. And police seized SP capsules worth about 20 lakh rupees in local market and belong. Hello and welcome to Impact News. We're watching Primetime English News and I'm Premi Thangjum with the top stories and latest news at this hour. In yet another dramatic turnaround, President of Manipur Pradesh Trinamool Congress Kim Gangte left her party to join the BJP. Kim Gangte, along with two former Congress MLAs Nemcha Kipgand and Vungazind Valte today joined the BJP. BJP leaders including national leaders welcomed them at the party reception held at BJP office, Nitya Pachutek. Speaking at the reception, BJP National General Secretary Ram Madhav once again reiterated that it is the responsibility of the state government to resolve the UNC's indefinite economic blockade. He maintained that the centre cannot intervene without the consent of the state government. The BJP leaders held the Congress government responsible for the sufferings of the people due to the economic blockade. He also said the BJP is the party of the future generation. No developmental infrastructure. People are suffering. I always tell name of the state is Manipur, land of jewels, land of pearls. Where is the money? Money is with Ibobi Singh. And people are poor. That is Manipur. He cannot silence the voices of all of us. They are still unable to decide about their candidates. Let me warn Mr. Ibobi Singh, don't delay it too much. Those remaining may also desert you. All good people are leaving Congress party friends and joining BJP. Because BJP is going to be the future of Manipur. Assam Finance Minister Himanta Bishwa, who was also president, present in the reception, said if the center is to resolve the economic blockade, why should Chief Minister Okram Ibobi remain in the chair? He asked Ibobi to resign for two days and asserted that the BJP will end the economic blockade in an hour. Former Congress MLA from Kampokpi Assembly constituency named Chakibgin said she joined the BJP after watching the development works launched by Press Prime Minister Narendra Modi. She said only BJP can achieve development in the state. मैं इबोबी जी को सैलेंस देता हूँ आप खाली दो दिन के लिए चीफ मिनिस्टर पद से रिजाइन कर दीजिए दो दिन के लिए हमको प्रेसिडेंट रोल लगाने का मोहल्ला दे दीजिए हम दो दिन में ब्लॉकेट हटा दूंगा आप बोलता है केंद्रीय सरकार ब्लॉकेट उठाना चाहिए तब आप क्यों कुर्सी में बैठना है बताइए मणिपुर का स्टेट बीजेपी लीडर को आप सीएम का कुर्सी में दो दिन के लिए बैठने दीजिए किसी का हिम्मत नहीं होगा मणिपुर में ब्लॉकेट डालने का गवर्नर डॉक्टर नजमा हेप्टुल्ला ग्रेटर द पीपल ऑफ मणिपुर ऑन द ओकेजन ऑफ रिपब्लिक डे in her message, Dr. Najma Habtullah said, India is poised to become one of the leading nations of the world. She also appealed to people to work together to make the nation strong, peaceful and prosperous. As a part of the 7th National Voters' Day celebration, an Android-based mobile app to call eManipur election has been launched today. The 7th National Voters' Day was celebrated today across the country under the theme Empowering Young and Future Voters. Chief Electoral Officer Manipur organized the event at City Convention Centre in Palace Compound to mark the day. Chief Secretary Onabakishore, who was the chief guest at the event, stated that the people need to elect the right candidate to achieve development in the state. He further appealed to the people to not misuse their voting rights, which they get to exercise every five years to choose their right representative. Nabukishore emphasized the role of the younger generation in electing the right and eligible candidates to govern the state with new progressive ideas on development.
He reminded that misusing the voting rights and exchange of money will be a great hindrance towards the state's development. As a part of Voters Education Program, a comic book on systematic voter education and electoral participation SWIP was also launched. A photo exhibition on the Voters Education Program was also held in various districts since early this month. Prizes were distributed to the winners of the state level drawing competition organized by Chief Electoral Officer Manipur on the 21st of this month under the theme Every Vote Counts and the one organized on the 22nd of this month by the CEO Manipur and Editors Guild Manipur as a part of the 7th National Voters Day celebration. That choice of the representative of the people to be exercised during the election, no? that is going to have a huge impact and consequence in our future. So that's why the Election Commission uses the theme young and uh, future voters. Young voters are very important because as young people are supposed to be more uh, aware, more educated, more well informed and more correct in taking decisions. That is the assumption and the fact uh, of the people. The younger people are smart. They can really make changes in the society. As per the direction of the Election Commission of India and Chief Electoral Officer Manipur, the 7th National Voters Day 2017 was observed to date throughout Impal West District at district level as well as at subdivisional level to the boat level officers at respective locations polling stations. District Election Officer DC Impal West District in a press release said prizes were distributed for district level drawing competition and essay competition at the event. District Election to Officer Thauba celebrated 7th National Voters Day on the theme, empowering young and future voters at the counting hall of DC office Thaubal today. Thaubal RO Sheikh Abdul Hakim Thaubal, ADM and Surjit Singh and Thaubal City Block BDO case H. Umananda were among those present at the celebration. Epic card related to the voters through the BLO were also distributed at the event. With the assembly elections drawing nearer, BJP has been conducting political conference in various parts of the state. The party today held a political conference at Yaurabung in Lamlai. BJP national spokesperson Syed Sahan Nawaj Hussain and BJP Manipur Pradesh in charge Prilat Singh Patel attended the political conference. Addressing the conference, BJP Manipur Pradesh in charge Prilat Singh Patel demanded resignation of Chief Minister Okram Ibobi Singh if he cannot lift the economic blockade. He also held Ibobi responsible for the hardships faced by the people due to the blockade. The BJP leaders said since the time of UPA, the Congress government, which is in power for the last 15 years in Manipur, never asked the centre to repair the Ziribam Imphal Road. He said the BJP government sanctioned rupees 2,000 crore for the construction of the road without the state government asking for it. BJP aspiring candidates who failed to get the party tickets have begun to desert the party. Ningombam Helen Rowe from Yai School constituency resigned from the party today. He will fight the upcoming assembly poll as an independent candidate. Addressing his supporters at his office in Palace Compound, Helen Rowe alleged that there, were, there was partiality in the issue of ticket and that the principles of the party were not followed. He also said the BJP in centre and the state has difference of opinions. Around 
State Executive Member and former Vice President of BJP Manipur Pradesh, Hanjabam Jayadeva Sharma, alias Gandhi of Brahmapur Thangapanmapal, in a press release said he has resigned from the primary and active membership of BJP Manipur Pradesh. Manipur People's Party MPP has termed the BJP government's airlifting of oil tankers as an eyewash. In a press release, MPP expressed its shock that the aspiring candidates think that they can rule the state by joining the Congress or BJP and appealed to the public to vote cautiously in the upcoming assembly polls. Ward member of Lilong Thaubal Municipality Council, Mohammad Taj Ahmad Khan, denied the recent news that nine councillors have joined the BJP. Speaking to media at Manipur Press Club, Mohammad Taj said the news which appeared in local dailies that nine councillors of Lilong Thaubal Municipality Council joined BJP under BJP aspiring candidate Anwar Hussain is totally baseless and condemned the news. <laughs> Taragani Tue Haina Makoina, Palak Liba, BJP Yau Kreherbo of Hamse, Aran Beni, Ward member, member Makoina Paleiba Maming Singla, member Marie Makoi Masamasa, BJP, the Yauki De, Hibasi, Siena, Mediagi Manga Tamjari, Minister Haji Abdul Nasirgi Makada, a quick congresso in a Dumak lady, Aduga, member Tarani, Tue Haribese, member Karegi Maming, La Henjana Hapsalakle, Councillor Mapan Makse, a quay chairperson. Mr. EBM Zagi Makada, Indian Eastern Congress, Wayna Adumak Lady. Let's take a small commercial break. We'll be back in a short while. Keep watching Impact News. You manunga application give up on Fava Solution Pira with Dura Sign G Sisit Susan W. Dura Sign Asit at Ablo Scope Still Limited, the flagship retail brand name. Dura Sign Liner, you could don't in the human game with Suma Pangi application, the quite the young of Lang Kutnaba. Yan Tabas Sling Amasung Faklang Kaidok Nabi Rai Live Solution P. Penal Singer of Hiba Madi, Chap Yunga Mike and Stolt to Via. Dura Sign, Tata Blue Scope Still. of success for your children. Get enrolled to one of the finest schools in Northeast India, UNACO School, Excellence in Education. Beneath 100 meters from the Earth's surface, naturally filtered through sand and stones, pure, clean, and healthy water. Welcome back to the break and you're watching Primetime English News. Vice President BJP Manipur Pradesh Minority Morcha Mohammad Habibur Rahman and BJP member Muhammad Ashraf Ali have joined the Janata Dal United. The BJP members who left the party were welcomed by JDU leaders. JDU President Hankan Pao Taitul said the two left BJP as they lost their faith in the party and joined the JDU. He said the party will give them ticket to contest in the upcoming assembly polls. Ahom ba ama masung prayagi damo kara damo risu tobo yaba toromage habi ba kanlon oina raineti kumam duna kumlak pa asida karisu oiri do mandre ticket pangwa pangda bi wa na tongan oina ba to unari ba BJP na Congress party dagi ahom ba ama pugani hai na kala ga tobo si koi jo thazarure adubo adubo last day. Homo Pubangam Dua party mandre Hibigi Hibigi confirm to Rabagi Mong that labor to the Manipur, Janatadar United, and a moist with Taramna Opogaloidana, Losanjari. 
Hainang Block Congress Campaign Committee has appealed to the Congress Party to give the ticket in a fair manner to the most eligible candidate in Hainang constituency. Congress aspiring candidate from Hainang, Wai Mangi, said all the Congress aspiring candidates should unite together and fight against BJP in Hainang. He requested aspiring Congress candidate Naure Bumratan, alias Kapu of Hainang Kindran, not to spread rumors that he is the only eligible Congress candidate in the constituency. Party leaders in the Kendra Gima Pongkudim with the Pajana Tabio, Kendra Ziki Prajas in the Apambada, Kanana Pagani Hyper, Tiki Tanning in the Congress, Aigi Migi Misang Sangan Kanana Kanagi influence Togdana, Party interest at Tabok Togada by Misak Share, Congress intending candidate Maris Gimanunda, Ninkizana, Matam Lering the Kalaga, Tiki Biki with the Koi Karigumba, Nungai Tabamta Lazeroi, a Koi Pajana, Party leaders in the Maram Zana, Matam Zana Matixana. Lauruk pa decision na to koi yaja ge. Kali gumbak kendra kare ki leader sing na moi moi ki khudong chaba yenga ka moi ki tin na ba maru umpang ki na tar ka sa a koi ki mission sangan ki hai ka tar mari mata ki basis tap pora ka hekta hangang kendra ki congress ki candidate se ek sino koi ro vai sino koi ro hai thana hekta hai bi basi de tau bi ka no. Police has seized Park's more proximant SP capsules worth about rupees twenty lakhs in local market. A team of NAP OC Lilong Police and Commando Thaubal District led by SP Thaubal and Pradeep seized a drug in Lilong Kalikong area. SP Thaubal and Pradeep said acting on an NAB intelligence tip off about the presence of the drugs in Lilong Kalikong area, NAB asked Thaubal police to send an extra force. A team of police rushed in the area this afternoon around 2.30 and searched the area. When the police team questioned some persons about the truck, they became hostile. The police tactfully brought the bus to Lelong police station and checked it. The huge quantity of drugs was concealed among the drugs on site at the truck. The truck belonged to Mohammed Abu, 28-year son of Mohammed Abdul of Lelong Kalikong. Tungani Makai Muktav, SP Nabna, information Amape about the presence of a truck, loaded truck. Mafamdo Kaitan, hostile Weba situation arise to Kadrahaina, police key strong team Amat Hazin Binavahire, the long police key team. Mafamdo that Hazilaga, Ahogi team, the high singer, Gari Asi, the long police the Pure, Gari Asi, Hangdo Oga Yemuda, Ahogi SP tablet, Mayamafanga, Masi, a market value da. Around 20 lakhs kumbo ay gani hai makata ba investigation gita magta honari. The Election Commission has asked political parties and leaders not to use the pictures of President, Vice President and State Governors in their election posters. In a letter to the leaders of political parties, the poll body has asked them to advise their candidates and leaders to desist from such acts in their election campaigns. The Commission said President, Vice President and Governors are constitutional authorities and are completely a political and they should not be associated with any poll campaign. The direction came after a recent letter by the President's Secretariat to poll panel about the reports of use of photographs of President Pranab Mukherjee by political parties in Punjab Assembly elections. Yunako School Kongman Zone 3 today held its sixth annual day celebration 2016-2017. Speaking at the event, Deputy Commissioner of Gamjong, Armstrong Pamis, who is also a member of World Economic Forum, urged the students to focus on academics while they are still under the guidance of their parents. He appealed to them to work hard to be able to contribute to the society while they are independent. Armstrong urged the students not to forget their responsibilities as a human being. Commissioner K. Radha Kumar said students will only succeed if they focused on academics and work hard. Best Teacher Award and Best Student Award were also distributed at the event. Milal today held a Maitai Mayak teaching program at Maharabi Young Club in Maharabi. Director of Language Planning and Implementation Dr. El Mahabir Singh also took part in the program. Milal has been conducting Maitai Mayak teaching classes for elderly persons with financial assistance from Directorate of Language Planning and Implementation Government of Manipur from December 11th last year.
Auto rickshaw drivers of Mongsangai, Langthabal and Langthabal Puramakong have threatened to cease their services indefinitely if the general public and relevant authorities are not happy about the increase in fares due to the economic blockade. Auto drivers plying on Mongsangai Road held a protest with regards to this issue. Speaking to media persons, Nepram Nabachandra, an auto rickshaw driver, said there are full shortages due to the blockade and that the drivers are buying fuel from the black market. He said TDC is misleading the public by stating that the drivers are taking undue advantage of the blockade to earn profit. Nabachandra said the fares have been increased due to the fuel scarcity. They will charge 10 rupees only once the problem of fuel scarcity is resolved. For now, the fare will be rupees 10 while travelling to Imphal and 20 rupees while returning back from Imphal. Driver Madi Praja Singh is a misunderstanding. He 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 is a misunderstanding. Hagat pada lupa tara, amat dia hagat pada sulupa tara, adun log juga ni. Yang ni pun adu ki mai okta. Aku ikut TDC na, sing siap thah bukum na buka macam ni. Betul ki, praja singa diver singa mungkin ni bahasi, kok tripa bahawa, lo tripa bahawa dia koy ngasih dagi. Oto service asi lepsa lagi, hati na koy fungsi macam siapa hujan ni. At least ten shops were gutted in a fire last night in Palil Bazaar and Kolkal district. The cause of the fire, which broke out around 8.30 p.m., was not immediately known. However, it was suspected that an, an electrical short circuit caused the fire. The fire destroyed properties worth several lakhs of rupees. Now the sports news. DSP beat family FC 3-2 in the first 7-8-6 trophy 7-A side. Open football tournament organized by 786 Sporting Club at Kairang Muslim Mayailekai. In another match, AFC Awang Football Club beat Seven Brother 4 0. Free fencing coaching camp organized by the Youth Athletic Star Union Bhagyabhati Lekai on the occasion of its 35th Foundation Day concluded yesterday. The camp was conducted by the club to tap young talent to make them good fencers. International fencer as Ranjit coached 60 boys and girls in the camp that began on the 11th of this month and lasted for 14 days. Before we end the bulletin, a quick look at the headlines once again. Manipur Trinamool Congress President Kim Gangte and two former Congress MLAs joined BJP. Manipur observes 7 National Voters Day under the theme Empowering Young and Future Voters e-Manipur Election Mobile App launched. Election Commission asked political parties and leaders to not use pictures of President, Vice President and State Governors in their election posters. And police seized SP capsules worth about 20 lakh rupees in local market in Lilong.